It's nice to be out of my closet finally. I've been at my house this whole week writing scripts and you know making vlogs every day and today I'm gonna be doing some little modeling for some artist buddies and they're gonna be drawing me they just needed someone to pose for them this artist you're gonna meet his name is David I met him at a coffee shop at Campbell downtown well Campbell is my hometown I always say I'm from San Jose because everyone knows San Jose more than Campbell I'm gonna be like two minutes late to this but uh, yeah I'm gonna meet him at coffee society <laughs> <laughs> hey David, how are you? I'm in Coffee Society now and I'm gonna have David introduce himself. Hey David. Hi. Oh, you wanna talk about yourself? What you do? I'm David. I'm drinking a frappuccino, mocha. I draw a lot. I draw too much. It's really cool and kind of sad too. Yeah. It's cool and sad? Yeah. Why? Why, why is it sad? I tend to not want to try other things, I just want to draw instead. Sometimes it's like a, a way of avoiding. At the same time, I think I'm so good at it, it's, you know, double-edged sword. So I got my steamed almond milk, thank you to David, and he's setting up currently. Seeing all this art supplies makes me miss painting. Yeah, I hear that a lot. People, I inspire people to miss painting. <laughs> That's why I kind of travel around and make people miserable. <laughs> David, are you aware that you have very dry humor? <laughs> yeah. Very bad, dry. I don't meet people like you all the time, so it's, it's very um, entertaining. Thank you. <laughs> so David required me to wear something colorful, and this is one of my most colorful outfits. I bought this from Singapore, by the way, at a Bugis market. You can shop there, and you can haggle prices. And they have a bunch of vendors lined up. David's gonna start drawing me, so I'm gonna pose. Yeah. Ten minute pose. Brian is here, but he's a little camera shy for now. Uh, if he warms up, maybe he'll say hi to you guys. So we just finished the first pose, which is 10 minutes long. Fantastic! How many poses are we doing today? Gosh, I don't know, maybe like five or six, something like that. The final one would probably be the longest. It's like, a, like just some nice detail. The things white people like here with that book. It goes through all this list of things that white people tend to like. And one of them was being near water. I think that's just not for white people, right? It's, it's just a joke. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, I'm Brian. I'm David's friend. I... That's all he is, really. I like to draw. We just finished our second 10-minute pose, and there's this meetup going on, a storytelling meetup. And the winner will receive a date with Jeff. Oh, let's take a look at what the art is. Brian and David Drew. Very nice. Can we see yours? Yeah. I wanted to really hone in on mine because I didn't get a chance to ink it. Ooh. Shooting in the tenderloin. We'll hold on to the story. All right, third pose. That is looking fantastic. It's the most colorful one. And as for Brian, he still needs to ink it. But thank you, it looks like me. A prettier version. <laughs> we just finished our fourth pose, which was 15 minutes long. That looks fantastic, David. Love it. And Brian is inking his currently. Also love it. Now we're on to our fifth and final pose. And this one we're going to hold it for 45 minutes. So for this last pose, I'm going to be holding this camera and I'm going to have it be recording. Imagine your parents sent you to a strict Catholic school to learn about morality. We're the South Bay storytellers. Does this guy in the plan have a story? Yeah, sure. Is it PG? The 45-minute pose is complete, and the story time behind me is complete. The meetup. And here we go. Oh, I'm loving it. So much, it's a rainbow. Oh, I just saw something else. It's kind of brown around here. Around your glasses. Brian, do you mind showing us yours? Yeah, sure. Lovely. And Brian drew it with a pen? 
Yeah, I actually got the pen in this time. Guys, this is a rectangle eraser. It's a uh, Japanese brand, uh, Mono Zero. What I like about it is that when you're drawing, it really allows you to erase in really tight, small spaces. Uh, even using like a kneaded eraser, if I like twist it to try and get like a little a spot, it doesn't have like the solidness that I need to like really like erase it well. Your hair is quite long. Oh yeah, I grew it out. So did you? You just don't cut it; it'll do that. How long did you have long hair? Year 1997 or 8, it got about this long. And then it stopped growing. So you. It was the winter of 1932. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so now it's time to head back home. I'm feeling quite hungry, so I might stop by OCK if their kitchen is still open, hopefully. Let's find out. OCK is like one of my favorite restaurants in Campbell. One of the happening restaurants. So unfortunately their kitchen is closed, so I'm just gonna probably head back home and eat some cashews. It's getting late. What time is it? 10.38. Businesses in Campbell don't stay open that late, especially compared to Korea. Oh gosh, you guys, I'm so hungry. I'm out driving. <sighs> These are the times I wish I was in LA. Then I could drive to Koreatown and have myself a nice 24-7 tofu soup or some nice side dishes. Them complimentary side dishes. I'm in my closet. <laughs> Usually I take all my clothes out and put it outside so I could film in here, but um, I'm just filming an outro and I want to say goodnight. And it kind of looks festive having these clothes next to me, right? This pattern. Yeah, I could do some cute poses, I guess. How about we do a mystery pose? I really enjoyed today's modeling session with David and Brian. I myself used to be an artist. Uh, I used to draw, paint, use charcoal, all those mediums, I, I used it. Um, but because it's been such a long time since I drew and painted, um, I, don't, I don't even know if I have the skills to anymore. Although I can't directly be making that art by hand, at least I'm like indirectly there. Right? I'm posing for them and I'm providing a subject for them to draw. And staying still is not easy. Like, over time, after a course of like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, your body starts, might start slouching or like, you know, it eases into a different kind of pose. So you have to be very mindful of every moment. And because you're staying still, you're not moving around, in some ways you become a better listener. While we were at Coffee Society, there was a meetup going on and we had no idea that was going to happen. I think the meetup was called South Bay Storytellers. So when people went up to tell their stories and I was looking the opposite direction, I only heard their voice. So in my head, I was picturing, oh, like with this kind of voice, maybe they look like this or maybe they wear these kind of clothing. So I was using my imagination to build a face as I was listening to their story. So that was kind of an interesting little um, happening there. My arms look so skinny in this perspective. I have small bones, but I am not underweight. Crazy. And then after we did some drawing and modeling, we had a good hearty chat. Uh, David, I, I asked him earlier why he had his hair long and it turns out he was inspired by one of the characters in The Last of the Mohicans. I think that was the title of the movie, which came out in the 90s. It's past 11 p.m. Um, my eyes are really... I don't think I even need to give you a word. Okay! Good night!